Hello, Silent Speaks More Kelly Adams here. We had a question submitted to us through Facebook, and the young lady had a, has a horse that keeps throwing her head, its head. She had bought the horse, it was a roper, it was worked in feedlots and various different things. But he just was always hard to bridle. She's finally got him overcoming the bridle issue. But now he wants to throw his head and she doesn't doesn't seem like she can get a stop on him without him trying to take his face away. Okay, the biggest issue now is as, as a, if a horse has been spoiled that way, an awful lot of the time they've been jerked on, uh, of course roping, a lot of just run straight, stop hard, and really not much work on flexing the neck and allowing the horse to learn how to give in to the bridle. Okay, so we use a cavison all the time, and basically this is just a, slips over their ears, goes over their muzzle, do it up, and you put your bridle on. Now we'll use a short shank on this mare, a real low port bit. Okay, she's one I acquired a few years back from some folks. Same situation, they had bought her from, through an auction, uh, supposed to have been a well trained horse, no problems, and well in the first few months the, she was a little, ran me up in the, in the bridle, a little spooky at being pulled on what at all, and she ended up Let's just say the fellow and, and her parted company one day and he broke his leg. Uh, he says it wasn't really her fault. He got a little heavy on the rain and she, they just parted company. <laughs> How's that? Okay, so what we, what we do here is now she's, all, she's been in a snaffle. Uh, we do use her for a lesson horse and trail riding horse for certain people. But when I take a horse back to scratch, instead of using a real heavy, heavy bridle, which they've probably already tried on most of them, is like this young lady now who sent in this question, was what do you do, how big of a bit do you use? She's using a fairly large corrective bit, okay, and she just would like to take the horse down out of a corrective bit because she just doesn't think he's he needs it or she's not quite ready to use that bit. Okay, so this is just a small short shank bit and our recommendation is teach your horse to bend off the shank, okay? Instead of trying to take a horse's face away with too much pressure, then they start to resist and as you pull back, watch what she does here. She She'll give a little, but then she wants to get her face up, up in the air there, right? So even when she does give, she's just waiting for that opportunity to raise her face, just like she did there. But if you just take a little bit of pressure on the left side, she has, she'll start to put her head down. Okay, and then you just take some time and then go to the right side. Watch what she does here. Now, a lot of people think you only do that in a snaffle. And we're not saying to ride all the time with two hands. But if you pull straight back and the horse has virtually been trained to resist that bridle, throw its face away, okay, everything in the neck, front shoulders, through the rib cage all gets really hard, really straight. And all you're doing is just a tug of war with something that really is just too strong. Okay, so we're going to take her outside here, and uh, I'll show you what we're talking about. We already know how she's going to kind of react to this bit. We don't let anyone else ride her in a western bit because you get a little heavy-handed with her and she will react just like she used to. Okay, but we'll show you how to take your horse. And, and just kind of get them started, given to the flexing their, their neck, 
give you to the side of their bend. If I only pull here, and I and she's going to bend that side of her head. Watch her neck go down. Her neck really has no option but to start. Now see, she's going to resist, but she can't get a straight pull straight against both sides of that bit. Okay, so we'll go to the right side here. Same thing. Sure, the bit is moving both sides. That's that's the idea, but you're more pressure on the right bar of her mouth and she can't really get her face and her neck bridged against you in a solid line while she's bending. Now she'll drop her face here, see? Okay, and then you just let her go. Doesn't matter if she takes it back after you loosen off a little bit. Just teach her that instead of her just planting both bars on, on that bit and pulling straight forward, she'll have to kind of bend around and as you're stopping your horse for the first few times you'll want to just take a little bit more pressure with either your left or your right rein doesn't matter whatever is comfortable for you not a big jerk don't be jerking on these horses just add some pressure bend her around a little bit and then ask for the stop use your body lean back let her know that it's coming okay use your body English to let her know that Okay, if I lean back, I want to stop. Don't always rely on your bit. Add some body language to her, okay? So we'll take her outside now and we'll hook these two videos together for you. Thank you kindly, folks. Okay, so you can kind of see how this mare, when she was treated real heavy with her with your hand, you can see the same problem, okay? So what we're saying is if you just Take and learn to bend her around. You're not pulling real hard, okay? That's not the idea. Okay, but if I take two hands and I start pulling on her, see what she does? Okay, so just get her more used to how she's bending her neck. Now I'll come right at the camera here for you. See when she gets her head off to the side there she's just fine. You can see how she's moving her mouth. She's trying to chew on that bit. See, I'm not, I've got this rain way away from her now, okay? One hand. Move her up a little bit here. See, instead of trying to, to just take that bit straight away, she's actually learning to kind of give in. This isn't something you can do in a single afternoon. It'll take a long time. Like we showed you the size of that bit. Adding a little bit of left rein here. Now see if I can stay off of that rein now. Leave her alone. See where her head goes now. I'm going to add in a little bit of left rein. You see where she goes to bob her nose straight up. She kind of runs into the left side of her mouth. Just don't let her get her neck real straight, okay? So keep her going back and forth and relaxing. She's stiffer to the left than she is going to the right. I'm not trying to hold her down anywhere at, at all, 
Okay. You can tell she's nervous and she's thinking. But the biggest problem most people do is they want to set her head with the two hands. Okay? Like this. You're just going to pull straight back. Okay? Well, watch what she does here. See how she starts to resist that? I add a little pressure, and then I let it go. You add a little pressure. If her head comes up, don't add any more pressure. Just relax. There. See where your reins are here. Now, if I ask her to stop, I'll turn her to the right here. Now, if I ask her to stop and I pull straight back on both of those reins, She's just going to take her face. So I'll just pull with the left and I'll get her going here. Oh. Now see, she can't really take her face straight away from you here. All right. And then let her go out straight. Now again, if I ask her to stop, I want to lean back. Push your feet forward some and say, whoa. And then just use one rein so she has to bend that neck. And if I want her to go forward, I'll move my legs back. Now see, she's learning she can't get a straight pressure on that bit. So I just want to move her from right to left, right to left. So I'm going to run over our camera person here. Okay, so now notice she's just getting a little more flexible. Rain's loose. Now I'm going to go to slow her down. But I'll just use one rein. There, see I just used my right rein there a little. And when she slowed down, let her be. If she starts to pick up speed, you're just going to say easy or jog, whatever you word you use to talk to her, and just use one rein. Easy. See? Now, if I go back and I'm going to use two or two hands here, you can watch what she does. Easy. See where her neck goes? Now she's realizing she can set this neck straight and start to pull up on you. See? But if I take just the one rein and then the other, she loses that thought of thinking she can pull that, use her whole body uh, against me. And then just leave her alone for a while, okay? See if she can trot out here. And again, same principle. See where her head goes? She just doesn't try and take full pressure. Again, I'll slow her down with my left hand to stay easy. There. Right hand, left hand. Right hand, left hand. And you can watch how she'll even start to collect up in the rear end. See, there's nothing wrong with what she's doing here. Don't pick your hands way up high like this. And don't take your rain hands way out wide either. Okay? All you're doing is just playing a piano with her mouth. Nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. Notice how when she gets up fairly high, she has to break over to go to the right or the left. She just can't resist. Now see how she was expecting me to pull straight back on her face. We'll just pull a little bit to the left here. 
And watch where her face, her head goes now. This is what we were talking about in our response, teaching her to flex her pole a little. Okay? She's trying to figure out how come she can't use her whole neck against us here. Okay, now see, she just starts to relax. The head will go down. Right? If I come to the right, you do this a lot just as, as you're standing, especially when if they get tired. She doesn't stand very well, this little mare. See the resistance here? And then pretty soon the, the head goes down. And all you're trying to do is just shake her loose from the pole, the wither, everything's just got to loosen up, okay? And once you get her relaxed and doing that, even if you have to ride her with two hands for quite a while, you're going to achieve your goal. Okay, lots of these horses that were either gamers or ropers, all it was was run real fast, stop real hard, and they never taught them to relax. Okay, so, ooh, now see, we didn't even have to touch our reins there to stop them. Okay, but it's this area here, she gets real stiff, and then of course up in the pole. Okay, you just got to get her to bend over. Now this is a straight shank western bit, okay? I don't like the snaffle, the... Tom thumb. Tom thumb. Uh, this is a little, like a little tom thumb, okay? But you don't <coughs> want the snaffle mouthpiece, okay? Uh, just, to me, that's just not where you're headed, okay? It doesn't give you the ability to eventually start to just set her head, but if, it's, if you're real gentle, do what she just did there, okay? Now watch if she, see? But her head's gonna come up. You have to give her enough room when she goes to drop her head to get her neck down and out of the way. If you hold her too tight, she can't lower her neck out of the wither. Then pretty soon her, her neck comes up, you're trying to set her nose, but she can't drop her neck because you're holding her too tight. Okay, she's got to be able to drop the whole thing right out of the wither. Now eventually you'll want her to get to the point. As you're doing this, See how low we can get her to drop her face for us. And ride a lot of circles, okay? See where she's going to try. Just let her dip her face down. Just moving her neck back and forth. Okay? And you can just watch where she'll start to just drop that, no that neck. I say, give her room here in her neck so she can drop her head. Pretty soon that head just keeps staying down there. She starts to relax. Just remember, especially when you're about to finish up here, which we'll do, the light's leaving us here today. You say, whoa, just lean back. Go, whoa, pull with one rein. 
And then just get her to flex her head a little. Keep your reins loose when you go to step off, okay? Okay, folks, we'll do some more of these videos, especially with this mare. You can see that she does need just, but for other folks that are just here to take lessons, normally when they're just starting, they get a little heavy handed, or if they get scared, they get the pull. It's something this little mare will never need in her lifetime, okay? But don't go out and just run your horses straight and think you can get them to set their head after this problem. It's a lot of small circles, lots of patience, just gently rock your reins back and forth. Let go with, or push one forward, get her to give, wait a few seconds or a minute, and then take her the other direction. Okay, thank you kindly, folks.